Okay, the really hard thing to do with this video that I'm making for you guys is just figuring out where to begin with. But I figured the most appropriate way to start this off is to put things in, you know, in, in the right order. Uh, and I've been thinking. So before I get started, uh, this is how it's going to be. I'm just going to keep in mind that I'm going to be talking about some good things and some bad things. So before I get into the things that have easily made me angry, paranoid, all that crap, yes, we're delving back into the fucking paranoid shit. I know. It's annoying to some people, but you see, it still kind of lingers in. But before we get into that, I just want to be, you know, absolutely clear about what I'm saying from the beginning. That after the 21 years that I have been living, and, you know, I understand that there's times where I think I'm lacking my own ambition, I'm lacking in some sort of, you know, way of trying to be so determined about doing something. I don't know whether this is within my genes, genes, G-E-N-E, -E. let's not get people confused with that crap. <laughs> I'm tired, so. Here's just what I'm saying. Is it in my genes to feel unmotivated all the time? And I mean like all the time where I think I'm going to do something in which I know for a fact that I'm actually going to do my best to finish these doors. I keep telling you that. And I do actually have my first page for, you know, to start it off with. I have a lot printed out. I'm just going in order. But is it really within my genes to feel always... To feel lacking of a talent or to feel something like that's I know that's a stupid question and that probably does not hold uh, any key elements to what I'm saying I'm talking about is it within my sort of genes to feel unmotivated about things and I just leave it behind I just don't do it anymore it's so stupid that's not that's just a tiny partial crumb not even equivalent to a fraction of what I see wrong. That's not even angry. Apart from yesterday, I had a bad fucking day. My car, my battery dies. Uh, some woman was trying to do fraudulent activity on actually a relative of mine's card. I was shopping around two hours in a store, a store for nothing, and basically nearly got us compromised, which really just fucking sucked. Pissed me off, and I had to spend extra amounts of time of my own bedtime just to go to another store, shop around, and only get like this much time to sleep. It really pissed me off. But it's all said and done. But like I said, that's just, that's not even a fraction. But I just want to say for a fact to the private group that I'm also in, I'm not going to mention any uh, names because I'm not trying to compromise the group any anyway. Uh, and to uh, other people outside the group, and to my personal friends, to everyone, to my family, to all this, that I love you guys very much. I do. I respect each and every one of you. You know who you are. I've had conversations with you. And to those who either feel like they're not getting the attention from me that they deserve, I am not butting you out or anything. I'm not casting you aside or pushing you away. Rest assured, if I would have a problem with you, I would actually tell it to you. I would actually instantly say, you know what, I don't want to be your friend or something like that. I don't want to have anything to do with what you're doing. I would basically say something like that, just not in the more sense of being an asshole. That's kind of one of my problems. It's kind of a, the, you know, the reverse part of it. So it's a little bit inverse. So, but anyways, I'm just glad for a fact that I have friends who have actually treated me, you know, <laughs> they've treated me so well that I, I feel like I, I owe them a lot, in which I do. There's actually a lot of people that I owe a lot of, you know, gratitude and a lot of respect for, and actually, you know, I'm basically am humble enough to actually be a part of, of a lot of things that I thought I would never be a part of, because I never thought I would actually you know, come this far, despite all the things, despite my flaws, despite all these negative things that I have 
thought about me, they've always made me feel better about something. Whether if it was a fact or whether if it was just based upon something that was completely subjective. You know, if it was opinions. And, you know, I'm thankful for what I have and I'm always going to be grateful. I'm not going to boast, you know, boast my ego. I'm not going to praise myself for getting this far because the bottom line of that is that I'm still a sad, angry human being. Yes, I, I'm, I'm happy when I spend time with people. I'm happy that people see me as a good guy. I'm happy that, you know, people compliment me about what I do, you know, and what I'd like to, you know, I like to help people sometimes. And that's a pretty good thing. And I like that. And I enjoy that. And I respect that. And I hold that dearly uh, clear to me and hold close. So I'm just going to say that for this group and for everyone else, I've appreciated and I will always be thankful for who uh, I respect, who I hold close to me, and what you guys have done for me. Even for those who strongly dislike me for what I've done back in the past, you know, I, there's really nothing more for me to say. I've, uh, I've learned these issues and I've learned these problems and I should have, you know, left well enough alone. And I'm not bringing that stuff up. I'm just trying to bring a certain connection of a certain closure to everything. Everything that's connected to something that makes me feel bad. But like I said, everyone else, thank you very much for treating me with... A lot of respect, a lot of gratitude, and making me feel better because I've always thought of myself as, like I always say before, the bottom of the totem pole, but I like very much below people. And this is actually saying, you know, very greatly because I consider people like MDA, Take Shot Action, Undertaker Freak 1127, Shelby X Pwn, Some Guy 827. I consider those guys to be. Getting close to the top notch. I do. To me, compared to the top here, I see a lot more people with that higher potential. And this is where I am. And I've, and I've asked this question to a lot of people in, in the Google Hangout, you know, how, you know, what many ways did it take, you know, did it take to help improve the content of the videos in which I have gotten a good you know, response from them. They're actually good friends of mine, and I do recommend you actually check out those channels. Those those are cool channels, by the way, and I'll link them down in the, in the description. But since that sitting down, I always thought of myself as the lower end, or as the loser who would probably go on living his life in a very sad way. And, quite surprisingly, in the truthful manner, I think in the words of Walter White, I have seen my friends or my colleagues surpass me in every way. That is the truth. That is the damn sad truth. I'm not feeling bad, and I'm not trying to make anyone feel guilty because it's that's not, that's not what I'm here for, and I'm not trying to make myself feel sorry for myself because that is the reality, that is the truth that I am facing with, and I need to accept that truth. I am still, however, pushing my motives and pushing my goals to where I want to. That is a fact for me that I am trying to push myself. I'm trying to be more innovative. I'm trying to have more, you know, determination to push forward in life to do what I want to do despite all the hardships that may be. And that's, like I said, that's the truth I'm facing with. But that's not the only issue. We've gotten past all the things back three years ago where I had these obsessive issues where we kind of go up forward where I actually had these paranoia issues about what people thought of me and said. And this is one thing, and this does not relate anywhere to the private group or relate to anywhere else. This actually relates to something else that it's not connected to anyone, but a separate portion of another, another place where I had a group of friends or still have, but... Uh, a certain amount of people, but this has nothing to do with the group of Facebook that I'm in. This has nothing to do with the uh, personal, but this has something to do with another deeply personal. The thing about this was, 
every time these guys that I would hang out with, you know, they would actually have conversations of their own. You know, I, I'd be invited into some things sometimes, and maybe on Facebook they would talk about something at a, at a certain time. And, you know, every time a friend of mine or actually this person would say, you know, such such, they have such a great idea, we should go on it or something like that. And I can understand. I type in something, people don't pay much attention to it. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care. But the thing about that was, is that when I take a look back at that, many times in a row, when people like present their ideas or, you know, their accomplishments or something like that, or what they're planning to do, everyone else focuses on every single thing. But like when I put something in there and, uh, and I'm not, I'm not trying to play the jealousy card factor here, which it, I could be jealous, so I don't know. I could be pulling up a contradiction there. But when I present an idea, which I don't care if it gets rejected, I or just say something like, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, and or I'm, I'm talking about what I feel. So out of most people, their ideas would be presented as, okay, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. And, you know, they, they start talking about it. But when I present something on there, they're, they're just looking at it and going, hmm. Now, I'm not dismissing that I have sometimes bad ideas. That's fine. I can, that's not really the issue. But it's like, even when I talk about when I, what I feel is wrong or something, or just try to say what I do, it just, even if the ideas aren't even, even bad at all. I even had people tell me sometimes, hey, they're not bad. But it's like they just dismissed them as, okay, we just looked at that. All right, what does this guy say? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you're, you're having a good day. Or, oh, you're having a bad day. Or when I, even if I'm actually having like the same type of day, having a bad day or having a good day, it's just, okay. It, it just kind of just baffles my mind being that if I'm, if I'm going to be a part of something, I mean... I understand that respect isn't deserved, it's earned. I can see through that way, but why am I being a part of something that if something gets looked at but just like doesn't give a response on it? And I'm not saying that I want a response on it, but I'm just saying that every person that I've seen actually had their ideas credited with like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Or with something, uh, or just, you know, Okay, I hope you're having a good day, or I'm sorry you're having a bad day, or when I say something that could be just as equal as, no, as, no, uh, as enough to what this person says, they just look at it. Like, okay, so. Yeah. But it gets me thinking that am I really this low of a human being compared to others? I mean, what makes me the low end of the food chain on that one? So my thoughts and opinions and my feelings about something that I, you know, that's actually happened to me is, you know, probably invalid. But when someone says, oh, you know, I, I had my heart broken or something, or like if I said the same exact thing, but we didn't even know it and both of it turned out to be true. And it's like, you know, you know, I feel a lot sorry for this guy, but like, you know, like, so it's like saying to me, get over it to the other person. Oh, I'm very sorry, man. I, you know, we all got your back. So, my feelings don't seem to be valid, but the same person who could have the same type of drama going on in his life is just as valid as mine, which is fucking horseshit, deplorable, asinine, and acting as much with contradictions of hypocrites. But we can just swipe that aside, because it doesn't just end there. You know, like I said with the 21 years of my life, I've looked at many things that I've done as a kid, a teenager to, uh, okay, from a preteen to a teenager, then a teenager to getting kind of, you know, ball, the ballpoint of a man, uh, according to law, and then so on. And everything I can think of, I think of every dumbass thing that I have ever done, and that's saying a lot of things. I understand we make mistakes within our life, but I can count a lot, and I feel very, 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 very guilty and down when I think about this, thinking that 
Is this who I am? Is, am I some sort of dumbass that's going to keep repeating the same thing over and over again? Not intentionally, but it's going to happen anyway. Or when I try to talk, I, I feel like I'm stuttering. I say the wrong things sometimes. And it pisses me off. When I do something wrong unintentionally, I think back to myself like that right there. Did you, did you catch that part right there where I'm speaking wrong? Or when I feel like when I do something wrong where like I accidentally screw in a, a wrong screw in one, in one place and then all of a sudden I start thinking about all the dumbass things that I've done. And I think to myself, does everyone see me as this j jester or this fool dancing around in the fucking king's court? Because that's how I've been picturing myself for the 21 years. Not exactly 21 years because I know for the first three years that I've ever been alive, I can't remember... I, and I'm pretty sure the three years or four or at least five wouldn't count. But for for those other years where I've done very stupid things, maybe that's one of the roots to why I feel this way ever since. Maybe that is one of the things that made me feel down, apart from many other X factors. I'm not exactly sure. But when I look back on these sort of things, all these dumbass things that I've ever done, being a calamity... You know, Calamity who either drops things on accidents, you know, runs into something, drops something on accident, or does something that almost feels like it's the complete opposite of what someone tells me to do. And if you ever watch that 70s show and you look at Kelso, Kelso is the character and who I respect, respectively, you know, look at from Ashton Kutcher because he played the character very well and he's funny. But if you look at Kelso for an example... You can obviously tell from his character that he's dumb. Sometimes I think of myself as Kelso. But, on the positive side, not that much. But, and this is where it gets me more depressed as fuck. I'm just tired of doing whatever it is that makes me look dumb. This is unintentional, by the way. I understand that I do stuff intentionally based upon what I think might be right, but then it turns out to be wrong. I can kind of get that, and I, and I can learn from those mistakes. But somehow, I just get the feeling that I'm going to live the rest of my life thinking that people just saw me as nothing but this little buffoon, this little fool dancing around... You know, making a fool out of myself. I mean, like, in the actual jackass way. And everyone else just either laughing at me, looking at me like, that's the guy we've been hanging with for, like, a couple of years, man. He, dude, you know, what a fucking dumbass. You know, back then, you know, in high school, he actually did something to piss off a lot of people. And, you know, he doesn't even, okay, he doesn't even know how to, you know, fix a damn part of an engine. He doesn't even know how to tie his own damn shoes. It's something like that, but... Obviously, I know how to tie my shoes. That's just the comparison of how angry I feel when I feel like I just felt like this dumbass for, like, what, 17 years? I don't want to be this fool or jackass or, you know, not the bright bulb. I just want to be more like... You know, I want to be more like my brother. I want to be more like dad sometimes. I want to be more... Like, you know, my great-grandparents who have passed on. I want to I be more like... Maybe more like MDA. Maybe more like Some Guy 27, Shelby X Pones. Maybe more like Queenie. Maybe more like Vlog Rays, Rantern Shades. Undertaker Freak 1127. Maybe I want to be more like them because sometimes I feel that when I look back at some certain things, you know... Me, compared to all these others that I mentioned, I am basically the stooge, okay? That's how I see myself, the stooge. With, with some of the drama things that I did when I, when I started up this group that really caused a lot of controversy and I really had my ass handed to me, that was a dumbass thing that I did. So when I look at, back at something like that, I just feel like I can't go on living like this. I can't be the fucking fool or the dumbass. Because this is, this just leaves a stain on me that I feel like won't be able to come off. I don't want to be seen as a dumbass. I don't want to be seen as a fool. I mean, if I if I become a parent one day, I don't want some kid looking at me and going like, You're my dad? You couldn't even know how to tie your own fucking shoe. 
I don't want my kids to see me like that. Not counting the four, but 17 years I have done things stupid that I am obviously not proud of and obviously not happy about. And I've done disgusting things. I've done stupid things. I've done things that creep people out. My obsession, for one. And sometimes I wish I could just tear out a chunk of me, make it my own clone, and saying, you know what? I want you to be this person that has all the negative things of life that I don't want. Because sometimes I don't feel like Sometimes I don't want to be this now. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I just want to be another human being. Have this part of me disappear forever. No one notices the no one notices the difference. And that's it. Just living another life. And I just don't know. <sighs> so, I don't know. Do I end it up here? Do I just keep going? Do I have to keep remembering all this stuff? And believe you and me, trust me, that I am doing the very best that I can to get rid of it and not think about this sort of thing. I've even considered seeing a therapist, trying to find out the root to all my problems. If I can afford one at the moment, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I just want to be, no, just, no. I just want, if by any miracle chance, if there is any God, any divine presence, any spiritual energy, whether it be pantheism to anything else, to give me a sign to look back on something, take me back to my fucking parts of my memories to help me change something in my life, that possibly would have made a better positive outcome because as the way I'm seeing, I basically look as my, as myself as the human being with no happy ending. And that's not a sex joke. It's actually like no happy ending. Like everyone else gets to enjoy their future. Well, I'm... Thinking about my paranoia, thinking about how much I'm a fucking dumbass. And I'm not put. I'm not making this video to make me feel down because I know I can do better. I know for a fact that I can push myself, in which I am, and which I am trying to be positive about. And I'm not actually gonna keep, keep backing out of what I want to do, and I'm not gonna back out on what I see for my future. This video is not an excuse. This is for me to vent out my problems, vent out my frustrations. Talk about something that's been making me angry and making me feel down and negative because I feel like if I don't get it off my chest, it's going to keep boiling and boiling and eating, eating and rotting inside me, leaving some sort of cancer of a bad character. But basically, these feelings that I talk about with my, my personal feelings are basically what kind of make up the motivation I have to make videos like these. Like I said, maybe I want to be more like these other guys. Maybe I want to be more like James Hetfield. 
I always considered of actually being a roadie for Metallica. Never doubted that one. But, you know, I want to be a little bit more real here because chances of that happening are very, very... But being that I'm also a, still a huge Metallica fan, despite all the crap that's been going on, my number one heroes. But, you know, I always wanted to actually, you know, run my own pizza parlor. I always wanted to either be a musician or, I don't know. But yeah, be my own musician, uh, start a band or run my own pizza parlor or actually be a, a wrestler. Not WWE anymore, because that's... But, yeah. A wrestling musician who runs a pizza parlor. Well, the wrestler and the pizza parlor part actually might have something in common with CM Punk, but at least there's a positive side of me talking now. But, yeah. So I guess I'll just edit off here. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and I will kind of stick to more positive videos for the time being now. Anyways, I will catch you guys tonight, or, see, dumbass talking again. I will catch you guys later. Uh, there's a possibility I'm going to be in a hangout tomorrow, so that just depends. So, the outcome is a little bit... 50-50, or 65 to, you know, 40. 35, fuck, anyways, catch you guys.